How's it going, Toons of the World? It is your pal Mega Snoop bringing you another Toontastic video. And in today's video, I wanted to get back to my roots and bring you a good old fashioned gag analysis. Now, I used to do some of these back before I started making random videos that nobody liked watching, but I figured it's about time I get back and completed the rest of the gags. There are a couple I haven't done yet, this being one of them. I figured, hey, that was a good time as any, right? So today, I wanted to talk about drop gags. And I do have an understanding that most people in the game do not choose this gag. A dropless tune is the most popular tune you can come across in the game. But for those of you who do have drop, hopefully this video can give you some pointers on how to utilize the gag track to its most potential. First thing you need to know is how to get drop. Drop can be selected as one of the two gags to train for in Donald's Dock. If you do not choose it in Donald's Dock between drop and lure, you have the opportunity to choose again in the Berg between the other one gag track you had not chosen yet. Now the specialty of Drop is the fact that it has high damage. It is one of the most powerful gag tracks out there next to Trap. However, with the high damage comes a low accuracy. The typical Drop gag will have about 50% accuracy, and therefore it will not hit half the time. It does a lot of damage, however it's not the most reliable gag to go on, if you need to do something important this turn. Another thing to note about drop is that it will be the last gag used, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. For instance, if you're trying to train it, it can be kind of a nuisance when you're trying to use it and the cog gets destroyed before it's even your turn to use a gag because of the fact that the throw, score, or sound that the other tunes use may take out the cogs beforehand. This also means that you can coordinate your attacks around drop. When you use drop, you can have other tunes stun for you by using throw, score, or sound to increase the accuracy of your drop gag. For instance, if you want to use a piano on a level 12, you can have a couple tunes use a seltzer bottle or an elephant trunk just to stun the cog, bring a little bit extra damage, and to give the grand piano a better chance of hitting. Do know that as powerful as drop is, it does have a disadvantage when it comes to lured cogs. Luring cogs can be great because it keeps the cogs from attacking, and it also gives you the ability to hit the cogs with some bonus damage. However, drop gags will not hit lured cogs. So, if Cog is lured and you use Drop, it will 100% miss. This can be kind of annoying because there are people out there who will go out of their way to use Lure when you're using Drop because they think it's funny. Which is unfortunate that these kind of people exist, but as long as you're with a group of tunes that you can trust, everything will be alright. A fun fact about Drop is that the first five gags in the gag track will have a constant damage amount. Unlike other gags that you first get at a lower amount and the more you train it, the more power it does until it hits its maximum point. Drop gags will already be at their maximum point through levels 1 through 5. It's only the grand piano that starts at a lower amount and you must train it in order for it to do its maximum. And one last thing I wanted to go over is the fact that organic drop might not be the most useful thing. It can be nice to have because of the fact that you will get a new tune Tannic for you to use every single day that you can pick off your tree, and the fact that the Grand Piano will need at least an Awuga in combination to take out a level 12. Whereas before if you're using sound you might have to use a full Foghorn. And the organic tune Tannic, <laughs> that rhymed, with a combination of just a Bikehorn will take out a full row of level 12s. But it's not the most useful organic to have because of the fact that throw and trap are just so much more prominent. I also want to go over some SOS cards. So the three star drop is Clumsy Ned who will do 60 to all cogs, which is basically another foghorn in your pocket. Franz Neckvane, the four star drop, does 100 to all cogs, which is a really fair amount and can be really handy when taking out higher levels. And then arguably the best SOS in the game, Barnacle Bessie doing 170 damage to all cogs. This is a powerhouse and considered either one of the best, or if not the best SOS in the whole game. And then there's Shelly Seaweed, the restock drop, which really only helps if you're training drop and really in no other instance ever. Now that I've got all the information out of the way, let's just go through all the gags individually. The level one drop is the flower pot. It'll do 10 damage, organically 11, it can take out up to a level 1, and it'll affect 1 cog. The sandbag, which will do 18 damage, organically do 19, will affect 1 cog, and can take out as high as a level 2 on its own. The level 3 anvil will do 30 damage, organically do 33, affects 1 cog, and can take out up to a level 4. 
big weight, will do 45 damage, organically does 49, affects one cog, and can take out up to a level 5. The level 5 drop, the safe, will do 60 damage, organically do 66, it will affect one cog, and can take out up to a level 6. And the Grand Piano, the one that is different, will start at 85 damage, and as you work your way up, it'll do eventually 170 damage, or as much as 187 if planted organically, affects one cog, and on its own will take out a level 11. Finally, the level 7, the Toon Tannic, will do 180 damage, or organically do 198 damage, and this can take out up to a level 11, or like I said before, if it's organic and with combination of a bike horn, can take out level 12s. And the last thing I wanted to go over is just some different combinations that you can use these drop gags together with. Some of these you might know, some of them you might not. And these can be handy, but some of them are just for fun. For instance, four flower pots together can take out a level 5 cog. Two anvils together can take out a level 7 cog. If you have two big weights combined with any other gag, it can take out a level 9 cog. Or if one of those big weights is organic. Three big weights together can take out a level 11 cog. Two safes together will take out a level 10 cog. And if you have two organic safes together, it will take out a level 11 cog. And if you have two safes and a big weight, and at least one of them is organic, you can take out a level 12 cog. And probably the most standard one that everybody should know, this is something that if you have drop, please know this. One fully leveled up hose and one fully leveled up piano will take out a level 12 exactly. And this is probably the most important thing you need to know. And most of you should know this, and if you don't, learn it. Because it will help you in your CFOs, your VPs, your CEOs, your CJs, anywhere that you find a level 12 cog that you might not have sound to be able to defeat, hose and piano is done. That's all the info I have for drop. If there's anything I missed or anything you guys want to add, please do leave a comment in the comment section down below. I really do appreciate everybody watching today. My name is Mega Snoop, and I will see you guys next time. Hope y'all enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to smash that like button. It helps me know that my work is appreciated. Leave a comment and subscribe if you're new. You can check out my live stream at twitch.tv forward slash Mega Snoop. Follow me on Twitter at Mega Snoop TTR, and I hope y'all have a toontastic day.